This conference will now be recorded. Okay, uh, so uh, we'll be starting our next topic, that is information systems and reporting. So basically, today we will cover the reports. Okay. So the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see using the various in sources of information for production orders. Okay. Using order information system, order information system. Using object related individual list, how to how to see the individual list in the in the reports. Using object overview list, how to see this overview one. Okay. And special features of the individual options. Okay. And we will see order progress report. Okay. So these are the topics we will be covering in the order information systems and reporting. So basically, uh, during the day-to-day -day activity, uh, the, the personnel working on the shop floor or the planners, they will execute some reports, okay, just to track the status of the production or, or other activities. So for that, they will use this information system, okay. As a as production scheduler, production manager or supervisor, you need constant report about the status of individual orders. That's what I just explained. So every day they want to track their orders. Okay, which order is completed, which order is still in progress. Okay, for which order, the which production order is it to be released. So to track all the status of the individual orders, they will use these reports. Or about large number of orders that are currently being used in production process. Okay, so sometimes what happens is, there, is, there are multiple orders at different stages in the production department. To track all those things, they will use this information system. Okay. Currently being used in the production process are already confirmed, delivered, or are already been deleted. So basically, just they want to check the statuses of all these orders. So for that, they will use this information system. Okay. In particular, you need a quick overview of orders that have not been started or finished on time. Suppose let's say I want to. Uh, take a report of all the orders which are not yet released. Okay, I want to check which orders are pending for release or which orders, the orders which are uh, completed. Okay, so if you want to take that kind of reports, then you, they use information system. For the daily control of production, it is not only important for this group in your company to have reports about orders, but also to have an overview of pool of orders at a work center. Suppose let's say you want to take a report work center wise, machine wise. I want to see all the orders currently being processed at a particular work center or a machine. Okay, so then you need this information system. There are several information systems for production orders. So we have we have uh, many reports, several reports in the system. We will see those reports. Okay. So basically, these are the information systems available. Basically, you have an information system called order information system. Okay, so for this, you, you for the, using this order information system, you can track your orders, production orders, planned orders, and their corresponding objects. This I will show it in the system. Along, along with that, you have multi-level order overuse for sales order. Okay, suppose let's say in the sales, uh, we discuss this during MTO, make to order. Okay, so they create a sales order. So using that sales order, then only the production gets triggered. So to track all that down level activities, they use this multi level sales order report. And you have missing parts information system. So let's say uh, we have multi several production orders. I we want to check what are the missing parts available, missing components available for that uh, pool of orders. So for that, you have the missing parts information system. So like this, there are several information systems to track the statuses of all those objects basically, okay? So normally the most widely used one is the order information system from PP perspective, okay? So basically, I'll go to I'll go to that. Okay, so let's. If you go to the system, if 
this is the one so I'll, let me take on one of the product just let me use this one Zero two seven. Okay. So we have this one. Okay. Just give me a Let me delete all these things. Just give. I'm just uh, deleting the existing ones. Okay, let me run MRP ones. Planned orders will go. Okay, so we have a stock of 100 here. Okay, that is okay. So now to see the, to see the uh, basically uh, orders, Okay, so normally to see a single order, the transaction we are using all that time, if you, if you, if you recollect, to see a single production order, to see single production order, the, the key code we are using is, is CO03, right? to see the single production order. But let's say I want to see the multiple production orders as a list. So the most widely used report is, COOIS. Okay, this is the most widely used report during the production activity. Okay, so to how to go to that report? So on the initial screen, open the folder logistics. Okay, go to production. Here you see there is a folder production. Okay, here shaft floor control. Open this. Okay, here you have information systems information systems if you open this here you will have all the reports all the reports here the one which i'm talking about coois order information system this is the most widely used in uh, reporting pp during the production execution okay so now if you if you observe carefully here we have reports and here you have normal transactional t codes normally create change all those things so Let's say I want to get only the, I want to see only the reports available in the system. Here we are, here we are able to see all the transactions, reports and normal transactions. Suppose let's say I want to see only the reports. Okay. So for that, what you can do is, once you log in, once you log in on the command field, type SAP1. You see, type SAP1. And just click on the button, as usual, enter. Once you do this, now system will display only the reports, not the other uh, general uh, transaction uh, T codes. It will not show that. It, now it will show only reports. So now if you go to our production, this one, production planning, open this here, go to production control, open this, here you see. Now you will be able to see only the reports, only the reports. So this is the very easy way to see all the reports, only the reports in the system. Okay, that is the, that's how you, you can see. Anyhow, let me go to the standard menu, back to SAP menu. Now we are back to the normal uh, view. Okay, so now let's go to COIS. Go to logistics, go to production, go to shop floor control, go to information system here order information system double click this is the most widely used report in the manufacturing execution so here you have uh, multiple selection criteria okay if you scroll down if you scroll down in the report you have a lot of selection criteria here you see a lot of selection criteria okay so i will come to this list and layouts so here in this order information system Okay, you have a lot of 